And our seven day forecast, we have 80 and 85 degrees for Saturday and Sunday. Well, I always saw myself as a, as a weather girl when I was a kid. And then, you know, my mom always said, well, you're great in science and math, so that might as well be something that you go into. I think even as a first year student coming here, you don't have to pick a concentration that you would like to go in, whether it be private sector, government, broadcast, um, research. You can take an intro to broadcast class like I did. You can do some undergraduate research. You get a broad range of your education here ra rather than going into one specific concentration for meteorology. It was tough, you know, like it was definitely a culture shock going from high school to college. It's really just an overload, I think, at first, but once you start to figure that balance between, you know, like here's my classwork, here's what I have to do, here's my kind of schedule for the week, you kind of get a, a good idea of how, how to address that. And then eventually getting involved with a lot of things helped to kind of create a more um, refined schedule for me so that I wasn't just had so much free time that I didn't know what to do with it. I became an admissions representative halfway through my first or my second year here. There's so much to do on campus and I'm not really involved with most of it. I just spend my time kind of hanging out and studying really. So I got involved with Spring Fling Committee and um, Alternative Spring Break. So those have been two things that have been really prominent recently in my life. So I'm constantly doing something, I'm constantly running from one place to another. That's definitely helped fill my time. But I like that because it gives me time to be like, okay, this is when this is, and then I have to sit down and take some time away from that and study, whereas it's like, well, I have all this other time, I can kind of just put it off, which is, I think, what most college students do, you know. Showers to our south, that's expected to dry up throughout the night. The summer before my junior year, I had an internship opportunity with Mark Searles from NBC10, and that really helped me to get some time practicing in front of the camera and connecting with other people for post-graduation. You know, I really learned that as long as I love what I do, I'm gonna get there no matter what, regardless of if I'm starting at the bottom and working my way there. But I think it was a good experience just to get my feet in the water there with that internship opportunity. And hopefully this summer I'll have a different opportunity to go and, and work on that, so. It was definitely a nice little break in the heat. Our high today was 78 in Providence, so much cooler than we've had the past few days there. Our warmer temperatures